Second game has been created. It is going to be on Zalnogger Caverns, the map of choice for Cloud, going into this second map. And now it's 1-1, best of five. The next person needs to win two games. First to three to uh, take down this best of five. Both players are ready. We'll say go. And we are going to go straight into this second game. Absolutely. Looking forward to this one. And a little bit of an upset, perhaps, initially, especially after that very, very strong opening. Just heading into the loading screen right now. This is going to be messy, folks. I can guarantee it. Cloud in the blue trunks right here, playing Terran on the Zelnaga Caverns versus his opponent, the one and only Hazel Ops from Team Mouse Sports. He is in the red trunks and he is playing Protoss. And the Italian Stallion here, Cloud, probably the favorite, but it's so close. I'd give it like 55-45 in favor of Cloud, especially being in front of the home crowd. And uh, it's going to really push his game forward. He's He mentioned in an interview I did yesterday with Quad V that he is an emotional guy. And when people actually support him, he becomes a stronger player. He appreciates the support. And uh, especially, like I mentioned, being in front of the Italians here, he will want to win this for sure. Absolutely. And he is still looking strong after an initial faltering. I have to wonder how much that actually shook him up. But bear in mind, Cloud, an extremely experienced tournament player. Yes, he is indeed. But now, the level is pretty standard between both players. Now 1-1, one, one, yep. and both are fighting for the first place of $3,000. Second place being 1,600. Quite a big difference, almost double. Oh yeah, absolutely. It's everyone. They're gonna get a payday one way or the other, and it's gonna be good, but still, that is a massive amount of money right here. And it's for such a small tournament in terms of the numbers of players we got, it's an extremely good prize pool. And they have been fighting tooth and nail to get it. And we'll have to see what Cloud can pull out of the bag against Hazelwobs after that initial loss. Indeed, Cloud Meet Your Makers professional player, along with Mouse Esports has roles both playing and living in Germany for the EPS. And they do play against each other a lot. They're in the same league. They're, they've always, they both qualified for the finals, sorry, and they both played against each other there. So they know each other's style very, very well. And uh, like we saw in the last game, Hasjobs did exploit a slight weakness with Cloud, going for that double engineering bay and double upgrade so early on. Just did not have the enough units out there. Absolutely, there's going to be some probe harassment by Hazelops right here, and into the line keeps an eye on things. Doesn't really want to try and pull something off the line to deal with it, but he's going to have to. He doesn't really have a choice. He didn't lose the SCV, so that was the good thing right there. He'll steal a few minerals, no doubt, and then perhaps head on back to his base. Now that he knows that Cloud is not going with that command center on 14 which has been known to happen and honestly what do you say that this map is actually Terran favored versus Protoss? I think it's a very equal favored map in all honesty uh, and you do see players choose this over and over again as their favorite map to go against pretty much any race uh, a very equal map and Cloud decides to put down a reactor on his first barracks and that really is a clear indication that we are going to be seeing a lot of early units, especially oh, yeah. with the second racks being added. I'm pretty sure we will be seeing a tech lab ready to get that stem upgrade. Yeah, it's got to be done, really. It does. And that early game aggression is perhaps slightly out of Cloud's comfort zone, but it might work out for him. And of course, he can transition into a later game economic play if he wants to. But still, you know, that's not the kind of thing Cloud usually oh. likes to do. Oh, has you obs, you're so good. You managed to get the probe inside the base of oh, Cloud. Yeah. He and got now the scout. he saw the scout, he saw the reactor on there. And uh, I'm pretty sure we won't be seeing has jobs going for an early expansion anytime soon. He might uh, you know, actually opt to go in for the third gateway first to get them extra units out. And here we do see the probe deciding to do so. Uh, with the next 150 minerals, we'll be putting down a second, well, third gateway, third gateway side, yeah, absolutely. Uh, in anticipation for this kind of pressure from Cloud. Yeah, it's looking good right here for Hazelwobs once again, and Cloud needs to really get things rolling. Marauders on the way out, concussive shell upgrade coming up as well. Cloud not looking into Stim yet. He'll have to perhaps put an attack forward without Stim. He doesn't want to wait another three minutes for that particular attack, although you never know, really. He may decide to be patient. We'll have to see how he does decide to play this out. And uh, just the three gates so far. Gone back into second gas for um, Hazuobs here. And a bit of forward poking with the Stalker, just seeing what kind of units are out there. Did Cloud fake and not build any units and go for expansion? Uh -huh. And uh, it looks like Cloud is going to be moving down, putting down the second 
uh, command center inside the main of his base and just doing a little bit of pressure with this force here. Mm. And it uh, could be quite effective with it, the uh, it should be. shells. It certainly should be. He does have an army supply advantage. Admittedly, that may change as he goes across right here. He does have a robotics facility on the way down, but it certainly won't be ready in time. Looking for some additional warpings, we see two more zealots coming in. So this will be a fairly balanced fight as far as I'm concerned. It's going to come down to the individual skill of the players as to how much damage is really done. There is a sentry ready. There are, in fact, two sentries waiting in the wings, and looks like Cloud is just... He was just going down there to check whether or not the expansion came out, which it didn't. Cloud forward with an SCV right now. I have to wonder if he's just going to simply scout with that or he's going to try and place a forward bunker. It seems unlikely that he'd yeah. try for any kind of containment right now. Yeah, he's just going to go up there, see if he can get any information on when the Nexus is placed down, any information on the unit composition of his opponent, because he hasn't used any scans. He doesn't know uh, what's going on. It could be a massive amount of void rays. It could be anything there. Mm. And uh, Cloud does decide to put a bunker down. Uh, just in anticipation of any aggression, we do see three gates and this Robo Mortal being pumped out now too. And uh, a pylon on the natural of Cloud has been put oh down. Dear. So we could be seeing a lot of pressure here. Yeah, they're going to pour it on. I, I can only imagine they're going to pour it on. However, Cloud is pretty much prepared for this. Stim is on the way. It may be ready in time. It depends just how much Hazel Ops really wants to push forward. He's going to expand right here, but he's not pushing forward to try and cover that for the time being. Cloud's still sitting in a good position. However, he's going to start lagging behind economically, which is the last thing he really wants to do. Looks like we might get a push forward, and his timing is going to be pretty much bang on by the looks of it. He still has not found that pylon, though. That's something that he might want to look for. And Hazelwob's also just si simply sitting on the Zelnaga Watchdown. You'll notice that the force is just out of range of it. Cloud not really looking for that. And I think, actually, this command center should see the pylon as he goes down. But it will also let Hazelwob's know that the command center is there. Cloud got a money scan on the Nexus and units moving out, so he, kn he knew that it wasn't a one base, uh, you know, huge amount of pressure. And as you mentioned, the pylon has been scouted now, but the, the reason for that pylon being there, uh, just because Hajjobs didn't go in and do any form of aggression, he just wanted to know, uh, is Cloud expanding? Does Cloud have a mass amount of units? And uh, he got that question answered by that. And now we do have an extra two gateways being added on by Hajjobs, and uh, we'll have to see if he decides to go for two base aggression, but this time around, Cloud has a lot more units. He oh, only yeah. has one engineering bay down now. Uh, hasn't quite started any upgrades, but definitely will be starting that plus one attack. Oh, he's soon. certainly ready for it. Hazelob's actually pushing forward with an immortal right now, which could be quite risky. They can be locked down. However, he's not going too far. Doesn't need to really worry about that so much. Hazelob still has control of both Cell Naga Watchtowers, so his scouting information is good. An observer has just scouted the entirety of that force from Cloud right here. Admittedly, he has not spotted the starport coming in, and we could be just seeing a very, very standard Marine Marauder medivac play. Yeah, he's going to switch that up, start getting medivacs till he has around five or six, and then we'll. Switch over to the Vikings, completely standard uh, by Cloud. He's adding on another barracks here. And uh, a very tense moment right now as these both players while fighting out here in Italy in the grand finals of this Sturmy.com tournament. Yes, absolutely. The income for Cloud looking pretty strong right now as it tends to be Cloud getting into the kind of position that he's comfortable with. We'll see what this initial engagement brings. It's been very, very passive thus far. Neither opponent really wants to go in. Hazelwob's with another interesting placement for the pylon right here. But here's the engagement. Looks like we're going to get it right here. And here we go, uh, ladies and gentlemen. And the Guardian Shield's absorbing most of the damage. The problem is he doesn't have the upgrades right now. Needs to get the focus fire in. Marauders raining it down. Tries to bring the Immortals down. It's not going to happen though. Looks like Cloud's going to have to push back right now. Stims to get away once again. He can't really do a huge amount of damage there. And if we have a look at resources lost, it was fairly equal on both sides. However, I'd be very concerned about additional war pins right now. All these Immortals did so much damage in that fight. Very heavy in Marauders. SCVs have been pulled off. The Bunker's trying to desperately get down. And Cloud is in a very tense moment now every second counts the second pylon is there for reinforcements cloud has to hold oh, yes he has to hold he has no choice in the matter scp's off the line to make sure that can actually happen right here raining it down however an additional warp in from the back of the forces right here he does not have that bunker up the bunker will be complete bunker is now up he's gonna have to pop in there almost immediately it will not last though not against immortals cloud is trying to hold the line he does not have the medivacs he doesn't have the upgrades and it looks like hazels might be able to crack it however a counter attack coming in right here from Cloud. He nails down one. He looks for the second. He grabs it. It's looking be much better now with the Medivacs backing them up right here. Will he be able to hold the line? Rains it down on the Immortal. Shields are down. Collapses almost immediately. The defense is looking very good. However, he is rapidly running out of units and I'm not sure if he can keep up this pace. All SVs have been put off the line. Total Biscuit for the last desperation hold here. 
That's all he has right now. It really is all he has, and he's getting torn apart. He has no units left. There is nothing remaining. A single Marauder at the top of that ramp with the last dish defense for Medivax in the air, but no units to really heal. I don't know how much he'll be able to hold it. He continues. Excellent micromanagement. Nails down a zealot. Looks for the second. Two more Marines out right now. Reinforcements coming in. A counter push right here. He puts them all the way back. It's unbelievable. He holds the line. He holds the line. Excellent play right there by Cloud. Cloud, Cloud, Cloud manages to hold on just about, but he lost so many SCVs in that encounter. Down to 17 versus 35. He can still come back, though, with the use of mules, especially if he snipes off this army. Here's a push. He takes one and looking you know, fairly cautious right now, trying to ground with stim pushes. His army is actually looking not so bad right now. Army supply is pretty much equal right now. Nails down one, takes a second, and a sentry going down. Nailing him quite nicely right here. Medivac deliberately pushing forward. He has a mass warp in, though. Hazel Wolf is about to turn the tables on him. He needs to back off immediately. He's going to nail down that cellar, but he's taking a lot of fire. Medivac ripped from the sky. Second one down. Third one gone as well. Cloud going to have to back off immediately. He still holds, but only just. Only just. He is starting to get back into this, but it's so close now. Another wave of units warping in. No probes in production. Just wave after wave after wave. And I think it's going to be just a little bit too much for Cloud. We will find out, folks. He's trying to hold it once again. He does have upgrades, but it's not enough. I'm afraid there's the force field. No reinforcements for you. Cloud crush again. Good game, ladies and gentlemen. Hazel Ops. 2-1 in this best of five series.